I'm just casually here eating food, drinking coffee, drinking tea and drinking water. So it's basically normal life resumed on this channel. Welcome back to my channel. It has been way too long. Sorry about that because I've had college, personal life, private life kind of getting in the way of things. Actually, now I actually have time to film stuff. Here I am, I'm back. Yay! <laughs> but let's get down to the tea. How to be that girl. I know you've probably seen all of this going around especially tiktok and if you want to follow me on tiktok the link for that is down below oh by the way life update i got a tattoo i've got a tattoo look how stunning she is how gorgeous is that so i'm going to explain to you how to be that girl but that girl in your kind of way because i've kind of took these things as well into my own lifestyle so hopefully you can follow that as well so let's get on with that girl video make yourself a priority honestly lots of girls have not are not doing this maybe you're like fat sizing over a man but maybe just if you want to achieve that girl make yourself a priority and then what i would use is your main character energy to pretend you're like a main character in your film forget about everyone else make yourself your main character like honestly i just like strut around with so much more confidence not caring you know i can get myself worried very very easily you know overly anxious but if you've just drawn that energy in, make yourself a priority. So look after yourself more and I'll get more into those tips later. I just walk around with main character energy and I think you should do that too. Tip number two is have a skincare routine. Honestly, I use about five serums or something just to achieve quite a, quite a glowy look i'll have them linked down below like so you know how to what follow for my routine just have a decent scare cam routine just just to make yourself more because definitely glow is in right now during this is in go for the glowy after effects so make sure you have a decent scare routine one thing i've added into my routine is i do a steam facial once a week so i'll probably do that like nearly every sunday before the week starts you just put yourself over a bowl of boiling water and i add some oils to it so uh, i add lavender oil which is really good for dry skin i add geranium which is good to to tone the skin orange is also good to help you know lessen the blackheads and also to lessen a dull complexion as i should say and also eucalyptus is very good if you have acne so i also use a variety of them i do that on a sunday after i've had a bath coconut oil to get the glowiness on your face make sure your face is clean and then steam for about 10 minutes with your oils and just make sure it just has a nice kind of glowing kind of complexion will wake up the next day and this is also going into the skin care routine so three is self care so make sure you have like a self care day like every week maybe like one day a week or something just to make your day stress wise you come home from work running out yourself a bubbly bath or something with some bath bombs and candles is it weird that i'm one of those girls that likes hot chocolate in summer times ice cream in the winter that's weird right even like get yourself a manicure pedicure i've i had false nails on about a few weeks ago and i couldn't be so all of them are off now so i've just literally just painted my nails white with matte so make sure your nails are nice and touched up face mask uh, eye mask lip mask hair mask i make sure i do that once a week as well just to look after yourself so we're going back to the first bit look after yourself because if you look after yourself, you're going to make yourself more confident and then you're just going to have that own radiance about you 
people are going to be like, who's that girl? Mm-hmm. So number four, exercise. So I know people start lockdown last year into very unhealthy habits. So some people got into really healthy habits with home workouts and home workouts are somewhat effective. I always fit in about maybe just under about 45 to an hour exercise. I make sure I always make sure I exercise 45 minutes to an hour a day. So either if I'm doing that in the house or I'm going to the gym doing that. I'm just going to the gym more. And if you want to see a gym routine, then comment down below. And yeah, if you want to kind of subscribe to this channel, then hit that subscribe button because you can see a lot more videos like this. So don't forget to subscribe, guys. Yeah, and comment if you want to see that little gym routine. Yeah, so I've been going to the gym recently and that has really helped my um, mental health so much you know people talk about go to the gym first first time but once you get that first day out of your way honestly it makes it so much easier and girl i've been lifting weights and boys look at you go like like they don't care they just let you do your thing you just plus when you just go to the you just feel like the strongest girl in the gym just going like yeah because i belong in the weight section that's how girls are meant to do it these days that's how we're going to do it Number five is introduce healthy habits into your life. So healthy foods, healthy drinks, I'll get to that point. If you're wondering, I'm drinking green tea lemon. This, it has so much health benefits. I cannot like get enough of it. It helps improve your skin. Help, it gives that healthy, like healthy complexion. This helps burn fat within your body. Like if you have a good, regime with your um, working out and your food wise this does help and it helps boost my metabolism as well much of this so teas like green tea really does help and i drink a lot more water i think i drink about 10 of these a day because these starbucks coppers like so in so get one of them bonus tip get a starbucks cup because they're definitely like a, that girl kind of thing at but like i like to balance my life so make sure because a lot of people go with these diets and stuff like that and then go to unhealthy and they, they pile the weight back on. So what you can do is you can just start introducing more veg and fruit into your routines. Literally just had strawberries and blueberries for lunch. So make sure you're getting your carbs, your proteins, everything, all your healthy, your dairies, everything. Um, I always make sure I have, oh, go for your cheesy target, your five a day, I'll make sure I always go for that. Just introduce more healthy, things with into your routine there's nothing wrong going from one takeaway maybe a month or even a week because sometimes i do it i had three takeaways in one week one time drink a lot more water certainly first thing you do in the morning is you wake up i drink my water I have a bottle of water next to my bed fill that up before i go to bed and drink that first thing in the morning then have my coffee make sure you have your coffee Oh my god make sure you have your co um, my coffee or tea to get that caffeine boost and then just introduce some more fruit and veg into your um diet and eat healthy like make sure healthy recipes anything number six that is write down your goals because there's honestly so much you want so if you want something write it down and start manifesting because i'm starting manifesting recently and there's just things in the universe that keeps swaying me to one thing, keeps moving to the other. If you write down your goals, because I know what, exactly what I want to do with my career. So I just wrote them down and just kept manifesting and it kind of triggers things in your brain just to go for it and work as hard as you can. I recently, last year, I wrote down that I want to pass my course, move on to HND, and it's it, and I worked so hard, and I've managed to pass, and I've got an unconditional offer to do HND and makeup for next year, but starting in September, and I cannot wait. So it just makes and just makes like that life when you're possible, that you're doing something, and it just builds up your self esteem, your self confidence. That, yeah, I can do this. Seven, have your coffee and your tea. Iced coffee is definitely in that list because I've been drinking so much more iced coffee than normal. Girl, you can still have your iced coffee because I know we're kind of going into a more of a diet kind of thing, introducing more healthy habits into our life by 
eating, which is the next thing, I'll just bring this into number eight, eat more healthy. Ish. I'm just like, you know, you know, there'd be bits where I might have the old biscuit or two after dinner, but if you build up your good metabolism by drinking lots more water, drinking more green tea, do your research into green teas or teas that help boost your metabolism and you kind of work your way in, you can definitely achieve and add in some exercise as well. Tone and exercises, I'll go for those if you're trying to lose weight. Lose the weight, then tone up. That's what you're meant to do. I do have, I have two years sport and fitness under my belt. Maybe don't listen to me. That's just, that's all the little bit I know about sport and fitness. But if you introduce those kind of healthy things into your life, then definitely. I'm not afraid to show off my mug. Blueberries are actually a really good superfood. They are antioxidants. They're actually really good with burning fat within the body. So introduce maybe more blueberries in the life and more superfoods like that. I have oats for breakfast, really super high in fiber. And I add a, a yogurt mix with honey and peanut butter behind protein to get that into my system. Gives me a lot more energy. So could definitely start introducing those kind of foods into your life. Number nine is try to wake up early and go to bed early as well. I'm the reverse, I go to bed late, wake up late. Maybe I should readjust that. Cut up, um, maybe between, start between, between eight and nine, wake up then, then go to bed between 10 and 11 and work your way up earlier, so then you six to seven and you're going to bed, say about between nine and 10, try to go like, early that so you, you can rest and make sure even if you can't get that make sure you have seven to nine hours of sleep because that is recommended for our age and if you get a good night's sleep you could do, you your body does a lot of recovering within those seven to nine hours the more sleep you get the more glowing you're gonna look i'm just saying number 10 is try a new look that you've always wanted to try and go for it me, I have certain bit of looks that I, not gonna say pull off, but a lot of looks I go in. So one, so like one time I can be like, what you call Ned-ish, like lazy with the joggers and nice top. The next thing I'm kind of looking like, what do you call like, what I call back in the day, like what do you call like rocker trick, bad girl kind of look. And in the next minute I'm more boho. Uh, I'm more boho today, more country girl kind of feel with the gingham and the frilliness and more girly girl. So I like to probably change and also street style. So I like to change up my look quite a lot. I've not had guaranteed certain kind of style. And because that's why because I've tried a lot more looks recently and, I've, and I've just, I just love them all, fitting them all into my life. So I don't have one certain look, but try a new look you always wanted to try. Try a new makeup look that you've always wanted to try. Try your, your hair look that you've always wanted to try. Try hair trends, try makeup trends. And you just feel a lot more confident and work one. And if you feel like it, you might accidentally fall upon it and you feel like, oh, this is the you, me. And then you, if you feel more confident, go for it. Confidence is key to being that girl. And honestly, confidence makes you glow and glowing is that girl. Telling me deleted my intro but I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and also comment down below if you're on a staycation or you're going on vacation I would really love to know so yeah thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it and yeah I'll see you bye bye <laughs>